Hi everyone and welcome to Max's Corner. This YouTube channel is uh, me sharing my sports memorabilia with you guys at home. And uh, before we start this video, which I'm recording on Friday the 13th, uh, November 13th, 2020, the day that uh, Notre Dame legend and Packers legend Paul Horning has passed away. Uh, but before we start this autograph video, I want you uh, to watch some of these highlights, a uh, short little highlight clip that I put together to start off this video of Paul Horning. I'm not sure enough people realize how talented this man was. Not only was he a Heisman Trophy winner, he was an excellent runner, he was an excellent blocker. Watch Paul Horning's block on a blitzing Colt linebacker, shake Taylor loose. He was a great pass receiver. He threw our option pass very, very well. He was a great kicker. Three straight incomplete passes give Paul Horning another chance to swing his golden toe. Everything that we called on him to do, he excelled at. He became what he had to be to make us successful. And Paul could do it all, and he did love to score. What we're trying to get is a seal here, and a seal here, and try to run this play in the alley. Get the block, he's inside the 10, he's at the 5, cuts into the end zone for the touchdown. And there you saw him, the Green Bay Packers power sweep as the day. in memory of Paul Horning's life. Um, again, he was 84 years old, passed away today on Friday, November 13th, 2020. And stick around at the end of the video um, to see some cool um, footage of me meeting Paul Horning. And uh, first, let's take a quick look at these autographs and I'm gonna read you guys some pretty insane stats. So, uh, let me just read this quick paragraph, this short paragraph. Uh, Horning won the Heisman in 1956 while playing for a 2-8 and eight Notre Dame team and becoming the only player to win the award while starring for a losing team. Horning led the Fighting Irish in passing, rushing, scoring, kickoff returns, punt returns, and punting. And on defense, he led the team in passes, broken up, and was second in tackles and interceptions. He was literally an all-around player and you like rarely rarely very rarely see that in football he was a quarterback he was a running back he was a wide receiver um he was a uh cor cornerback um i mean he was a kicker he was a punter and i met him on november 14th 2000 or 19 november 19th 2016 at the fanatics authentic show in rosemont illinois um, which is right next to Chicago. So almost four years ago. And uh, again, got these sweet uh, things signed by him um, with Hall of Fame 86 inscription. He's a two-time Pro Bowler, two-time All-Pro, one-time Super Bowl champ, and four-time NFL champ. So he won um, some championships before the Super Bowl was a thing. He won an MVP, he, and he is in the Hall of Fame All-1960s team. And I mean, this dude could, you could literally stick him anywhere on the field and he would perform like a Hall of Fame player. And that's why he's in the Hall of Fame. And I think uh, both of these things are super cool. Um, rest in peace, Mr. Paul Horning. Thank you so much for watching my uh, video of my tribute to Paul Horning and uh, me meeting him. Um, Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Max's underscore corner YT. And I'll see you guys later.